Hi, this is a video tutorial on how to play a treble in traditional Irish fiddle. The tune I'm going to use to demonstrate treble usage today is Jenny Dang the Weaver. It's a popular reel indeed, and this is how it goes. So there's a couple of obvious places um, to use a treble in that tune. In fact, if you find sheet music for the tune, you might even see um, trebles written out. So either it's written out with a quarter note or a dotted quarter note with a little squiggle on the top, or um, it's actually written out as uh, two sixteenth notes and an eighth note. So the most obvious place uh, to put in a treble in that tune is in that first measure. And there are two uh, ways of approaching a treble. You can make it a, a dainty treble. Um, or you can give it a little bit more grit. So the only difference between those two is um, with the grittier treble, I'm uh, putting a little bit more pressure on the bow, which focuses here on the front of my hand. And then I limit the distance that the bow travels during the notes. So the bow is only traveling about half of a centimeter. And in the daintier version, um, so that is the first uh, way to use a treble. So you can use it to dress up any time you're playing a quarter note that's on an open note. Open strings are harder to put an ornament on, so you can put a treble on there. Um, the next thing is I like to hide my trebles in the rest of the tune in some surprising ways. Um, so what you can do is you can take uh, any two eighth notes at the front of a system of a front of a group of four eighth notes, and just take that first eighth note, cut it in half, and make it two sixteenth notes. So although that'll sound like um, for like in the second measure of the tune. That's the, sorry, the third measure. So I'm taking that, that first set of four, which goes like this, and I'm just picking that first note, which is an open A, and breaking it into two eighth notes, I mean two sixteenth notes. And really, you could put that anywhere. Alright, so notice you usually start a treble starting on a down bow. I have seen amazing fiddlers do a treble on an up bow, um, but that's not standard. And those fiddlers are really gifted, so don't feel bad if you can't do a treble starting on an up bow. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, use a treble in the place of uh, an ornament. So you've got rolls like this. Um, if you want to use a treble um, but don't want to just boring treble, you can take uh, the middle note in the treble and either uh, go to the next note up or go to the note right below. So it'll either sound like this or... So in the B part, it sounds like this. So I'm doing a treble there where I'm going from an open E to a first finger to an open E. 
right? So those are three places you can use a roll, either in place of a quarter note, hidden in between two eighth notes, or uh, a dressier place uh, in place of an ornament. I hope you uh, figure all that out, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching this tutorial video. I have a couple more tutorial videos. The rest of the videos on my channel were from a project I did where I was learning a new fiddle tune every day. That project, New Tune A Day, is being continued by the amazing cellist Liz Davis Maxfield. So go visit her channel here. Do it. Thanks.